Hello, 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 bright, beautiful souls. Hello and welcome to Ascension's Love with Alice, a return to union. We are doing a short live video. Oh, short live video on the timelines that we see active right now. Hello, beautiful souls that are joining live. Hello to all those that are watching the replay. If you're watching this on Facebook, hit the like button. If you're not already liked, if you have shared this, thank you so much. If you're watching this on YouTube, welcome. And do hit the subscribe button so you get updated with the wonderful angelic guidance that comes through so frequently and regularly right and welcome to all those that are joining me right now in the present moment love to all of you love to each and every one of you so i am just here to talk about as it's been a theme of today i've been getting many questions and do much guidance on this so 2020 2021 we are in a new year it's a new year new start as we all say but the really fun thing is, is that we don't realize that the human intention of new year new start that we've had for as long as we've had this calendar year actually puts in that blanket of kind of like fresh white snow right we have that opportunity to really create what we want with a new year right but first let's have a little look at let's have a little look at 2020 and what what a gift that was and that's a fun word right to use when I know it's been such a challenge uh, for every single person and let me just explain why because what we're going to do is we're just going to go into the vibration we're going to go into the vibration and the energy aspect because before something is physical it is thought before it is thought it is energy right so we're just going to look at the energy behind what 2020 was and why it arrived, why it arrived and why it was here. Uh, and then we can look at that, um, look at 2021, because 2021 is a five number, right? It's a five year. Five is about change, about unity, about liberation, about freedom, about inspiration, right? But first, let's have a little backtrack. Let's look at 2020. So 2020 was the year, right, where as a collective, as a collective, you guys, as a collective, we were given the opportunity, a very direct opportunity to view our karma, right? We did. I mean, anything that could have happened in 2020 happened, right? Because all of the collective karma, everything that we have kind of done this with over the space of time that we've been here as humans, building up the karma, right? Over the space of time that we've been kind of going, oh, I'm choosing not to see that today. All of that came through in 2020. Right, we had the fires, right? The earth was burning, she was burning, she was clearing the way, transmuting energy, she was burning. She, we had the riots, you know, we had scandal in, um, you know, in, <clears throat> in the royal family, in um, people of authority, of uh, government, of things like that. You know, we've, uh, we've had on all aspects all over the world, we've had obviously the pandemic, the health scare, right? And all the fears, the collective fears that that was bringing up, right? Because this is, once again, this was all karma, right? This was all karma, hello beautiful friends. Um, this was all karma for us to view, for us to witness, for us to see and for us to make a choice. And this is the really interesting bit because 2020, many people are uh, and you see it on social media right now where everyone's kind of like, you know, flipping the birds 2020 and, uh, <laughs> you know, all of that. But really what's been happening is, um, you know, there are some people that 2020 was the best year of their lives because of the way that they viewed what was happening. Right. So rather than getting dragged down any rabbit holes and rather than getting dragged too much into uh, things on a physical, practical level, we're going to stay with the vibration of it here. We're going to stay with looking at that in that aspect because we um, it was a year of division. It really was right wherever um wherever wherever there could be a karmic play of division and separation it was shown whether whether it was with um what is currently going on with a pandemic and whether someone should wear something should not wear something whether someone should vaccinate not vaccinate whether someone should do this or that it was about division the elections in the u.s division was it a fake result was it a true result you know he said she said same with, um, we had the um, the Weinstein verdict this year, right? Bringing to light a lot of um, awful um, things for us to kind of view and to see and to go, this is happening in our collective, you guys. The fires, the burning of the land, right? This is what we've been doing to the land, right? All of this was coming through and it's not, it wasn't coming through to go, here's your apocalyptic year, because really, if we look back on it, we can look back with tongue in cheek and go, that literally was an apocalyptic year, but no. No, no, no. That's not what the point of 2020 was about. 2020 was all about laying the cards on the table and saying to humanity, listen, this is what you've been building. This is what has been happening. And although you may not be choosing that 
that has happened somewhere in your collective and with past lives and future lives and all the time that is going round in a beautiful spiral, it's all happening now. And that's why we're being shown. We're being shown so that we can clear the path, so that we can heal it, so that we can transcend it and transmute it and embrace it and see it. Because we can't transcend what we do not embrace. And that's why we're being shown it. That's why we could not look away from it this year. Anywhere we looked, we were seeing what we didn't want to see. Right? We were seeing what we didn't want to see. And that is a beautiful gift. Because it then gives us no option other than to face it. And to look at it even as uncomfortable as it is and go, hmm. How can I view this as, and witness it rather than getting dragged into it? How can I view it? How can I witness it? And how can I find whatever it's activating within me, whatever feelings and emotions it's drawing out of me? How can I find those and let those emotions run through clearly rather than getting obstructed and blocked? Because that's in essence what we're here to be as humans. We're here to be this divine channel, channeling light down. And if you resonate with the term empath, light worker, right, healer, any of those terms, which I know if you're watching this video, you do, especially empath. Everyone uh, that's watching this will resonate with that term and even the term light worker. And I really just want to emphasize what it is to be a light worker, right? It's a light worker isn't about sunshine and daisies and unicorns and just hopping around, you know, um, skipping around the, the country, the world, just like going, oh, a little sprinkle of love here, here and here. Absolutely, you do get to that. But... But first, it comes with a, a dissonance, a cognizance, an awareness, an awareness of what emotion you are fueling, because that emotion is a fuel in your vehicle. The body is the vehicle and the emotion is the fuel. So if we want to anchor light into this new year, if you want to start and anchor the energy of light into your day, which moves into your week, which moves into your year, which moves into your decade, if you want to anchor that as light, then it's time to be aware of what emotion we are feeding, okay? What wolf are we feeding, right? There's a, a Norse, um, with Fenrir, the wolf, right? There's a Norse, uh, you know, um, is it the myth or story? Whatever you wish to call them, I forget the words of some of these uh, things, but you know, which wolf are you fearing? Are you fearing the fear wolf of and creating that separation, creating that division, creating that illusion that there is disconnect, that all is not well? Because you're getting drawn into something to a point in which you lose yourself and you lose your connection with all that is with the light, with source. Or are you feeding the want of hope, of positivity? Are you choosing to see it differently? Are you choosing to transmute it? Are you choosing to embrace it? Are you choosing to go into the depths of that contrast and light a candle in it? Illuminating it. Because what happened on the 21st of December this year, and many, many, many people are talking about this, and we can go into a lot of detail, but we don't need to. We don't need to go into a lot of detail. All we need to know is that the light that is coming in to assist our planet and to assist every single one of us in our collective ascension path and the world ascension. Because to be here on this planet, you are, a, you are a master soul. To be here in this incarnation at this point in time, through this time that we're all experiencing, you know, they didn't just let anyone back here. They let the people back that were able to play their part in the divine plan of ascending this planet. Your soul is a master soul to be here. In at least one lifetime, you've had um, a lifetime of mastery, at least one. So we draw that back in. Choose to draw that back in to your current now lifetime. Choose to draw that in. Choose to remember that. Because that master soul of yours, high priestess, high priest, you know, that master soul of yours knows that there is no separation. Knows that there is no separation from love, no separation from all that is, no separation from... Um, from the light, from the earthly mother, the cosmic father, there's no separation. And from within that person who remembers that, they are that channel. They are that channel radiating love so brightly from their heart space that anyone that they meet, anyone that they come in contact with, gets illuminated as well, gets healed as well because of the healing that you do as a light worker. And that starts day by day, minute by minute. That starts by you choosing what you're tuning into, choosing what you're feeding, what fuel you're putting in your car and which vehicle you're taking to get to the end destination, right? And there is no end destination. It's just a, a threat to me there. They're like, end, there is no end. It's all joy, it's all beautiful, right? 
So 2021 is this year about unity, it's about freedom, it's about liberation, it's about change, the main thing being change because what's happening right now with all the light that is coming from the solstice and here on out, we've literally increased sevenfold the amount of light and love and support that is here being felt. So it's funny because I am... Um, I work with people with nutrition as well, doing like a 30 day reset. And I was using this analogy today because that's what the that's what I was given as an analogy to use. Is that when you do a 30 day reset, a body reset, a physical reset with food, right? And you go through a plan like that. The first week is hard. You get the headaches, you get the migraines, you get the sugar and caffeine withdrawals and things like that. You know, that happens. But then as you get into week two, you know, things start to get a little bit clearer. You feel a little bit lighter, right? And then week two progresses and you might still have a few cravings and kind of think, oh, it's okay if I... Um, you know, go back to this craving, I'll go back to that craving and, you know, did it, did it really disturb me that much? And then you go back and you're like, oh, actually, no. And then you get past the halfway point and then you're in your third week and then it's like, oh my God, I'm getting used to this. This is really, really good. And then you get into the fourth week and the fourth week you're like, oh, oh my God, I feel amazing. I feel so light. I feel so happy. My mood has changed. My physical appearance has changed. My energy has changed. My relationships have changed. And it's funny because we're in week one of that detox right now. That's like what it is. We're like in that week one where we're getting the headaches, we're getting the pains in our body, things are showing up because things that haven't been serving us that have been holding space in there are now leaving because of this beautiful light coming in. So this light is coming in, it's filling us up and we are we have the choice because we have free will, we have the choice. Do we allow the light to illuminate and move out what doesn't serve us or are we going to choose to hold on to that? And that really is the choice for any light worker, for any person here starting their year to determine how your year will go. That is the choice, right? And it's a beautiful choice to make. And you have that choice. Only you has that choice. No one else has that to make for you. No one else can make that choice for you. Because it's how you respond to things, how you respond to every experience that has been happening this past year that, um, that will happen. They are all neutral experiences. And they are neutral because we choose to witness them and then we choose how we react and although that may happen in such a quick way we don't always recognize that there is a choice there is a choice oftentimes it comes from a previous behavior previous cellular memory what we call karma what we call uh, cellular memory and things like that but that can be cleared if you choose to recognize it and if you choose to witness it as it passes and goes and go mm, actually i've only just noticed that I respond like that to this particular advert on the radio, to this particular conversation topic. I don't really like how that, how that response is. So let's have a look at why I'm responding that way. Let's look at why I'm responding that way. Can I choose to respond in a different way? What happens if I choose to respond in this way instead? What happens if I choose instead of hearing a conversation or a family member or a close friend who you speak to often every day, what happens if instead of hearing their perception and taking that as your own, what happens if instead of doing that, we go, I, I honor that, I honor that that is your experience and that is how you're feeling right now. But I don't choose to feel that way and that's okay as well. We don't have to agree to be friends, we don't have to agree to love each other. But I do know that I would rather be happy than I would be right, right? Rather be happy ra rather than be happy than be right because when we want to be right, guess what gets triggered? The ego body, and then what happens with being right and having that conversation where there is difference of opinion, right? So if there is someone with a different opinion and they want to have that conversation and feel right about something, do you ever feel good afterwards? I don't know anyone that ever feels good afterwards. And that's the trap, you guys. That's the trap that 2020 held so many of us in, right? We wanted to be right. And we went down the rabbit hole. And then we absorbed all that energy because we're empaths. And then we didn't know what to do with it. And then we sat here thinking, oh my gosh, I don't feel like I have the power. I'm the victim here. You know, pointing the finger going, this person needs to do this and this person needs to do this. When, when all the time, it only ever starts and ends with ourselves, right? <clears throat> yeah. Only ever starts and ends with ourselves. Because... For that divine feminine and divine masculine within each and every one of us to rise up in union, in unison, in unity consciousness, to recognize that, it's the divine masculine within us that says, we're going to take this aligned action, but he acts, regardless of your anatomy, you've got both the feminine and masculine energy, and the feminine holds that compassion, that space, that connection, receives, flows, moves, 
and the masculine brings in that clarity, that charisma, that inspiration, that action. And the divine masculine doesn't sit back and go, oh, it would be really good if this happened, but I'm just going to wait to see if someone does this in a day's time. That's not divine or sovereign in any way. That is energy being given to someone else to own and to control. So we take that back. Right? We take that back. What do you want to see happen today and how can you make that happen? Right? Because the feminine and the masculine energies within as they rise together. Hello, beautiful friends joining right now. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. They rise together. So this year is going to be a year of change, of unity, of freedom, of liberation. That's what the age of Aquarius is all about, is that liberation. Breaking down constructs, unlearning things that we've been taught and told for, for centuries, for millennia. And really asking, is that what feels true in my heart here? Is that what feels like truth to me? How can I be truer to me? Because I know like I know like I know there is a reason why I was born with a heart that beats such beautiful love and abundance through my body. And I'm going to choose to allow that to continue beating. I'm going to choose to continue to allow that to flow around my body. Because once again, what are you fueling your vehicle with? Are you fueling it with the emotion of love or the emotion of fear? The emotion of unity or the emotion of separation? Because let's be, let's be real now. We're into the subtle energies, you guys. And we are in that, like I was, like the analogy we used just before. Oh, we've got five viewers right now. So once again, it's that five number. But we're into that, that analogy before about a 30 day detox of the body it's week one you get the headache so those that are experiencing back pain shoulder pains headaches things like that that's because this light that is coming in you are receiving and taking in things that are really helping you really serving you but it has to shift and displace things that have been taking up space that no longer have the right to take up space what have you been asking for for your from your heart from your soul freedom liberation love honesty integrity in our hierarchical systems right in you know, in government systems. But in order to get there, we have to go through the contrast to receive the clarity, to see what it is that we want and to actually reform it. Right? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful souls. 2021 is set out to be an incredible year, but it's how you see it. 2020 for some was the best year of their lives. But they're not spending time on social media going on about it because they're living it. Right? If your feed on social is not as inspiring as you'd like it to be. Don't be afraid to unfollow certain people if that's what you need right now to maintain your mental health, to maintain your love and your connection with self. Don't be afraid to come off social media, full stop, if you need to. Right? Spend time with people that are lighting you up, whatever that looks like. Spend time with those people because the thing is that this energy is clearing, this karma is clearing, whether we want to experience it or not, it is moving through each and every one of us. And each and every one of us that is here came in saying that I'm going to take this bag of karma and this bag of karma and this bag of karma. I'm going to take this in this into this lifetime and I'm going to resolve that. So I'm going to continue to see these patterns and feel this way until I face whatever the karma is because that's what I'm going to do and that's what I agreed to do and that's what I want to do because I know that it's going to bring such love and unity onto this planet. It is an honour to be here right now in this incarnation going through such change and it really is about how we see it and if you would like any assistance with that, you know where I am. I'm here for you. I love you all so much. Do check out the specials that we have on the services, the offerings, the sacred offerings that I have. If you want more clarity, more direction, healing, the space holding for you. We have a beautiful goddess circle starting a week today. Right? And there's a space left for it, if anyone is called to that. And that is a rising of that divine feminine, that rebirth of the goddess. I have one-to-one -one offerings, if anyone is called to it, if anyone would like that extra support, extra guidance, or the space being held for them in that divine healing space. There is so much free content on this page, on the channel. We're doing 30 days towards unity consciousness, that love and forgiveness practice. It's 15 minutes a day. You don't even have to be on all of them, but if you tune into one of them, know that you've taken that time to move yourself into a more of an aligned, focused state of love and of being and presence. Right? There is so much content everywhere for you. You just have to ask and it is given, my friends. I love you all so much. Thank you for being here. Have the most beautiful rest of your evening. And from the bottom of my heart, Love, blessings of prosperity, love, joy and abundance to each and every one of you. Bye for now.